Solo A Star Wars Story was the first time Star Wars fans learned that there were five major criminal syndicates in the galaxy. The new book Crimson Climb by E.K. Johnston has given us a little more insight into which five syndicates made up that group, so today we're going to talk about them and how they were organized. Obviously, Crimson Dawn was one of them, led by Dryden Voss and eventually Kira. The Hut Cartel was involved, and they were led by a Grand Council that included Jabba, Oruba, Gorga, Marlo, and Arok. That group was dissolved shortly before the Battle of Endor and the destruction of the second Death Star when one of its members waged war against the Empire, leading Darth Vader to slaughter them all except for Jabba, who wasn't present. His death came not long after, which left the Hut Cartel in chaos. The Pike Syndicate was third and was heavily involved in the spice trade across the galaxy. Their homeworld, Obadia, was located near Kessel, giving them easier access to the world and its resources. Black Sun was next. They were largely controlled by the Falene species and had bases scattered across the galaxy on planets like Mustafar and and Ord Mantell. Prince Shizor ruled the group by the time of the Battle of Endor, but various Falene fight for power during the events of Crimson Climb. All four of those syndicates were forced into an alliance called the Shadow Collective near the end of the Clone Wars, and we'll talk about that more in a second, but their prominence in other media made them obvious fits for the five major criminal syndicates. The fifth member is far lesser known. They were called the Crimora Syndicate and were first created for the novel Tarkin by James Lucino, but they've only ever been mentioned and have never actually appeared in any story. The same is true in Crimson Climb, but we do get confirmation that they are the fifth and final major syndicate although that was first established in the Smuggler's Guide reference book. So those are the five major syndicates, but Crimson Climb also cleared up something for me that I hadn't known before. I assumed Maul was the secret leader of Crimson Dawn specifically. I still think that's true, considering he wears its insignia, but he also still seems to be maintaining control of all five syndicates. I assumed the Shadow Collective fell apart after the Clone Wars, but Maul is seen leading the operations of more than just Crimson Dawn. He gives orders to all five, and is maintaining the delicate alliance they all shared in Solo A Star Wars Story. But he also has given them permission to covertly compete with one another, which is a very Sith thing to do. But that's why Dryden agrees to the heist against the Pike Syndicate in the film. But those are the five major criminal syndicates of the Star Wars galaxy, at least at the time of Solo and Crimson Climb. I hope we can expect to learn more about all of them in Star Wars Outlaws next year, especially Crimora. I would love to finally see them in a story. But that's it for for today. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on our socials, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.